All right, we're going to start this chapter off actually with a science fiction reference. Um, there's a really interesting science fiction series called Access of Time that's written by an Australian author named John Birmingham. And, and the setting for this uh, science fiction series is that in 2021, a United Nations naval task force led largely by Americans is miraculously transported back in time to 1942, landing right in the middle of the American flag fleet steaming on its way to Midway. Uh, now, part of the storyline of this is pretty predictable, is that the good guys from the future meet the good guys in the past and defeat the bad guys in World War II, who are the Japanese and the Nazi fascists. Uh, that's some pretty decent science fiction, but what's really the plot of the book that I find most appealing is that the good guys from the future and the good guys from the past, that is largely the Americans in this case, don't like each other. Uh, the good guys from the, from the future see the Americans of the 1940s as a bunch of bigoted, backwards individuals who were barely better than the fascists that they helped defeat. Um, on the other hand, the Americans from the 1940s see the future Americans as a group of sort of racial mongrels with dangerous ideas who, about female equality and about civil rights um, that the Americans from the past see as a future that they don't want. Now, again, that's good science fiction, but you don't actually need time traveling aircraft carriers to, to sort of freak out people from the past. In fact, there's plenty of stuff going on about the world right now that would totally freak out people from the 1940s. So you don't really need a time-traveling aircraft carrier named the USS Hillary Clinton from the future to freak out Americans from the 1940s. In fact, just a whole bunch of stuff about our lives today, about recent history, would totally blow the minds of people from the 1940s. Uh, take, for example, that everything that Americans buy and almost everything we eat today is made somewhere else in the world or grown somewhere else in the world. Um, other factors are like Jack Jaguar and Land Rover, once the hallmarks of sophisticated British engineering and manufacturing, are now owned by an Indian company named Tata. Chrysler is owned by the Italians, Miller Brewing is owned by South Africans, and Budweiser is owned by a consortium of Belgians and Brazilians. Uh, the United States is deeply in debt, and that debt is held by communist China, Japan, Brazil, a number of different Persian Gulf states, and some shadowy banks in the Caribbean. It, Europe is also deeply in debt. You can buy sushi in grocery stores throughout the United States. And one of the most popular music videos in recent history is Gun Gum Style, which features a geeky South Korean guy um, singing mostly in Korean. Uh, the only English is, hey, sexy lady, over a backing beat uh, pioneered by African-American urban youth in the 1980s. Um, we carry our phones in our pockets. And not only do our phones uh, let us make phone calls to almost anyone anywhere in the world at any time for almost nothing, but we can also use them to take pictures, to send videos, watch videos. They connect to satellites that tell us precisely where we are and how to get to just about anywhere we want to go. And we will have a very strange desire to tell our friends what we are doing several times a day. Shooting a video, hashtag world history. Um, Nigeria has the world's second largest film industry, and the American president is an African-American Christian man with a Muslim name. I mean, really, who could have seen this stuff coming? Um, to give science fiction authors credit, uh, a certain number of them got in the ballpark. Dick Tracy's wrist radio and wrist television in some ways was kind of foreshadowing the iPhone or now smartwatch. Um, and Arthur C. Clarke, the famous science fiction author, um, predicted and uh, greatly encouraged the use of geostationary satellites. Um, but mostly science fiction authors told us that we were gonna have colonies on Mars and air cars and they were wrong and i'm totally bummed about that because dude i really wanted an air car 